or like decorative things and they won't jump up there I think it's just because they assume that there is not not a whole lot of space for them so they won't attempt it okay pause so my camera does this thing where it loves to record over footage that I've already recorded so it keeps recording over my intros on these weekly hunting vlogs and so I'm not getting all the information to you guys but what I'm explaining here is what I want to find today is some decorations to go on top of the cabinetry in my kitchen so that my cats aren't jumping up there. I like to decorate it because they don't attempt to jump up there when I'm doing or when there's decorations. So that's just what I'm explaining here. I'm also explaining the kinds of things that I want to find for that area and the things that I want to find for our newer apartment that we just moved into a few months ago and how I am wanting to exchange a lot of the stuff that I've had around for a while for new things that meet that match my aesthetic a little bit more. So that's just what I'm trying to explain to you here as we drive over to at home since my camera yet again cut out my first intro so again I apologize but thanks so much guys and I think the footage from here on out should be okay but I definitely need to start using another camera so yeah and push play again so I like to keep decorations up there I really want to take that stuff down and actually get rid of it and donate it and then fill it with Halloween stuff that I can keep all year round I think that will be more my aesthetic it will just look a lot better or I think it will look better. So that's the plan. I'm gonna get some spooky trees for that because I really want some up there. I wanna find some more stuff for my altar as well. I always do um, a Halloween altar because on our TV stand, I'll do like a big main altar for the entire family. And it's usually summer oriented or like, not summer, season oriented. So I will have stuff, I will have like a summer altar, which is what I have up there now. Um, I did a love altar for like Valentine's Day, like very like Aphrodite theme. It had a bunch of cool stuff on it, like flower petals and cinnamon, um, pearls, and it had rose quartz and stuff. And then I do one for Christmas. I do one for Halloween. Um, most of the time I will do the Wiccan holidays, not necessarily the traditional Western holidays. So I will set those up when, um, those holidays will come up so they're usually up before Halloween so if you guys long story short if you guys want to see a video of how I set up that main altar for the entire family it's a big family altar for all of us um, go ahead and let me know I don't know what I'm saying go ahead and let me know down in the comments so that I know you guys are interested in a video like that I definitely decorate it for a few few holidays here and there um but it's just like an area for all of us it so my son is taking an interest in witchcraft and so that altar is a good place for him to practice i will eventually set him up his own space in his bedroom but for right now we have that big family one and then i always set it up as something that i feel like the whole family can work at or something that i feel like will unite us all so long story freaking short um i want to find some more halloween stuff for that for my Halloween altar and then I'll add other things to it I'll always use decorations I'll put like acorns and stuff on it just whatever floats my boat pretty much um but we are at home I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and see if they have any cool new stuff so I'll see you guys took me a hot second to get that set up all right um at home cool they had some new stuff i actually saw them clearing out a lot of summer um they were putting things on wow stuff so they were putting stuff um onto like their big carton big flat carts and hauling them away so they're clearing out summer officially now which is super super exciting and they did have a few new things and I peeked on their little papers to see what's coming. So they have a lot of cool stuff that's coming. I'm really excited about it. And as far as new things that we saw today, I did get those glitter pumpkins. They were still there. And I also purchased two of the eyeball stands as well as, shoot, I don't know. 
um, as well as those skull cups that I've been seeing. They finally restocked, so they had the rainbow ones again, and then they had the clear ones again. So I got one of each. Last year, I actually turned a rainbow one into like a soap dispenser. So I might do that again this year with the rainbow for my son's bathroom. Um, so both bathrooms can have one. And then the clear one I want to use for like iced coffee in the morning and stuff like that. So I was really excited to see those again because last week I couldn't find them anywhere and I was kicking myself for not purchasing them sooner. So I'm glad that they restocked. I'm from what I can tell is they're only allowing a few pieces out at a time and then those few pieces are what's selling out and then um, you just have to wait until they restock. So I was actually very, very glad to see that they put some stuff in there. So they also had newer things. They had some new like tumblers. Um, one of them had poison on it. It was like black and had gold lettering for poison. Another one said Witch's Brew. I was so tempted to buy this, but last week I bought 11 mugs. Okay, I'm going crazy with the cups. I bought 11 mugs, and so I talked myself out of the tumblers. I was like, I'm hassled. So I didn't end up getting that one, but it was really cool. It's definitely a favorite. And then they also had another one that said Here for the Booze, which I thought was very cute. That's definitely a saying that we see a lot, and it's definitely, I don't know about you guys, but it's relatable. Um, especially someone with social anxiety. That is definitely a theme of my life. Um, let's see here, what else did they have? They had more of the witches hats. I'm still debating on getting one. I might just wait and see if there's like a cooler one out there. Um, and then they had more of those indoor floor mats. They had one that said dare to enter with like a skull on it. And then they had two new Halloween designs one was black and had like the orange Halloween letters and and then another one was like more of a piratey theme. It had like the wood plank design on it with a skull and it just said Halloween. And let's see here. I think that was all that was brand new. They had like those plastic looking melted candles that kind of reminds you of like the Disney melted candles. They had those last week, um, but only a couple of them. This week they had lot more of them and let's see here I'm pretty sure that was it for for new stuff and then they restocked a lot of things they restocked their ceramic ghosts I did see that those also sold out last week they restocked on the cat heads and yeah I think that I think that was it. They had a lot more of the plants with the eyeballs on it. I definitely saw a lot more of those. And yeah, every time I go in there, I feel like they move stuff, like they move the complete shelves. And so I kind of forget what was there last time and what's there this time. So I'm just glad that I was able to pick up those tumblers and um, two of the eyeball towers and then I also purchased the sparkly punk pumpkin. So that's what I got on this visit. We are going to head over to another location where we can check out Michael's, another at home bath and body works. And then on my way back home, I may go to Savers. So that's the plan so far. And I will see you guys when I get there. Okay, cool. So I just came out of bath and body works any more of the pumpkin spice ones so yeah but there was another sales associate there such a nice sweet woman i haven't talked to this woman yet um she was super super nice and i was asking her if they had any of the halloween holders because they didn't have anything setting out so i guess what's going on is they're selling out so fast that they're putting the halloween stuff in the back keeping there if you ask for it then they'll get it for you if they have it, but they're not setting them out yet. She told me that the launch date is not until August 25th. So guys, I got a little, a little dish here. August 25th is when she told me the launch date was for the Halloween stuff. 
that does seem kind of late, but I will be coming back and seeing um, what it is because I'm sure the day that it launches, it's going to sell out. So put that in your phones, guys. But they did have some other holders that I've been seeing around. So they had this cute candy corn guy with the jack-o'-lantern kind of a face on it. So I got that one. And then I got this one for my son. It's a kitty cat. It says trick or treat on it. He will freaking love that. So hardcore. He loves cats. He loves our cats. So he'll love that. So I'm glad I was able to find a couple of things. No new candles or anything. Um, probably because they're not going to release them in August. At least that's what she told me. So I'm going to keep looking for them because last year, oh my God, I talk about last year so much, but guys, it was so traumatizing. Last year, um, I started looking in August and it was completely sold out. They didn't have any more Halloween stuff. So I don't know if I believe that date. I think she's just trying to give me some information because I asked just because she's such a sweet lady. But um, yeah, we'll just keep an eye out. I'm a little bit concerned. I'm gonna miss it again. Gosh, I miss so much stuff last year. And then I decided not to buy something, and then I would go back and buy it, and then they would be sold out. And so, yeah, this is this is how we're treating it. Okay, so now we are headed over to the second at home mission to see if they have anything new. Um, and then Michaels is right after that. And yeah, then we'll do. Some hit up savers if they should be open i'll have to look up their hours before i go there but they should be open the end of the day isn't the best time to hit a thrift store i should have gone there this morning but i kind of slept in a little bit so we'll see what we can find life happens you know um i got another compliment um on my hair and bath and body works so today must be a really good hair day or there's just a lot of nice people out and about today. Oh man, it's so great. I love the red hair and I love that everyone else loves it too. Uh, my natural hair color is actually blonde, but it's like a white blonde. And so I don't get a whole lot of nice comments on that. So the red hair color, top notch. Everyone loves it. I love it my personality. I'm an Aries. If you didn't know that, I am an Aries. So for an Aries to have red hair, on point guys, on point. Fire burns within and on the outside of me. Oh my god. Okay. So yep, yeah, we're on our way to at home. So I will see you guys. <sighs> okay, I just want to say right now, because I totally forgot to mention earlier, I am sorry about my big crazy thick man eyebrows so my hair is white naturally and that includes eyebrows and eyelashes so I actually get my eyebrows tinted and I just really got them done yesterday so they're super dark and it'll take a few days until they fade to the brown that I like them second at home location they didn't have anything super new um, oh also I had to switch to my phone camera because my other camera is doing this weird thing where it's recording over footage and so I don't want to lose the stuff that I've already recorded. So recording with my phone now, I apologize. The mic does cut out here and there. So we'll just, we'll go with it. We'll try to get as much footage as we can from it. Honestly, I need a new phone because mine is a super old. <laughs> I have an iPhone 8. <laughs> they didn't have anything super new in the Halloween department. They had um, like a psychic reader sign that you could set up. And then they had like a spell book decoration kind of a thing. I didn't get either one of those, even though it is part of the Spellbound line, because I have, I have real spell books. So I would rather set those out for Halloween rather than like the fake box ones. Um, and then the psychic one, it was pretty cool. Like it had the gold lettering and stuff on it, but I want to focus more on witch rather than the fortune teller side, which the psychic thing, to me applies to witchcraft as well 
but to a lot of people it's more of a fortune teller kind of a thing just because of ideas from modern society so um that was pretty much it they were rearranging a few things so i'm sure in the next few weeks they're gonna have more of it and then they had some of those like lawn signs the ones that you can put out but they're mainly fall like they had a lot of scarecrows on them and pumpkins and welcome kind of things so uh, nothing super halloweeny there they did however have some new gnomes and i know i know i know i know this guy was freaking amazing so his body was legit a pumpkin and he was like this giant pumpkin with a gnome hat and he had his big nose and like the whole beard and everything and it was just super super cute i'll i'll show you a clip here like it was adorable he almost went home with me except for it's about 20 bucks and i was just like i don't know yeah i i don't know that's kind of a lot for a, a gnome he was pretty big and he was heavy so i'm sure it's worth it but We'll see. We'll see. Maybe next time. And then I did go over to Michael's. They didn't have anything super new. They had the wreath holders. One of them was like a white pumpkin bell kind of a thing. I did hit it and it doesn't sound like it makes a bell sound, but maybe it needs like a harder slam from your front door or something. Um, they had, they did have some new like spooky tree things. They had a spooky tree with little jack-o'-lanterns on it. I thought that was cute. I actually picked up a couple of those. And then they had the spooky trees with candy corns and like little candy pieces on it. So I thought that was pretty cute too. I didn't get any of those though because I don't, I don't do the candy corn area too much. I just got that sanitizer holder and that's probably going to be it. Um, but yeah, they didn't have anything new. They once again did not have the spider wreath. Like, oh my God, when am I going to find this wreath? And I asked a sales associate about it. He didn't really know what I was talking about. So I don't know, maybe another time. Uh, I really want, want to find it. So hopefully within the next few weeks, they'll have those out. But yeah, I'll insert some more footage on things that I saw. And we will, yeah, we'll go from there. Because I'm, I'm trying to remember. They... They had the stuff that they had there last time, like the witch hat on the spooky tree. The regular black spooky trees, they have little ones and large ones. I'm actually going to do a DIY with these spooky trees because I think it would be a lot cheaper than the ones that they sell at home. So if you want to see that, let me know and I will make a video for you guys on what my DIY is, what my idea is, and how they turn out. Um, but yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. And now what we're going to do is we are going to head over to Savers. I want to see if they have anything that I could use or any home decor that would match my aesthetic a little bit more. Um, what I have in my apartment now is just stuff that I've collected since I moved out of my parents' house when I was about 18. And so it, none of it kind of matches. There's just kind of like random stuff that I picked up here and there. So I really want to find some new things to update it because I'm, I'm getting a lot older, guys. It's it's time. So I may hit up Joe Ann's. I am planning on doing a giveaway. Um, if you follow me on TikTok, which if you don't, go follow me. I recommend it. I post videos every single day. But if you follow me on TikTok, you'll see that I made these Halloween bowl cozies. So they're like pot holders, but they're bowl shaped and they're, you know, they go in, on your bowls, right? And so I made some, or my mom made me some out of Halloween fabric. And so everyone really loved them. I was thinking about doing a giveaway with them. So Halloween fabric on those as well. And if you guys are interested, then make sure that you follow me here and on TikTok because that's where I'll be announcing that giveaway. So if you guys are interested in the bowl cozies or if you want to see what the giveaway ones look like, I will be giving away a set of four. Um, maybe I'll do two sets. I haven't really decided yet. So I might hit up Joanne's to go get the fabric for that. And um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just see what we find. I'm pretty excited to look at Savers. Normally you would go to the thrift store in the morning, but 
I'm already out and about, so let's let's do it. Let's go see what they have. See you guys there. Oh my god, these eyebrows look crazy. Oh, fudge. It's raining. That's exciting. And it's cloudy. What a beautiful summer day. Rain and, and clouds. And I actually really like it. And it finally dropped down to about 80. So, Savers was pretty good. I found a few things. There was this orange square glass jar that I almost bought. I put it in my cart and I ended up putting it back. Because I was thinking about putting the spooky trees in there for that DIY. But then I changed my mind. Because the holders that I got are not square. They're a cone. So, that won't work out. So, I ended up putting that back. But, I did find a lot of pumpkins. They had like those jelly plasticky ones. I don't know how to describe it. But, it's like the plastic... It looks like it's a bunch of little beads melted together and those light up which was pretty cool they i think were only like two bucks each and they had like six of them um so i bought all six i probably shouldn't have because i got mad at that lady for buying all the pumpkin holders but she bought an entire box i only bought six pumpkins so i'm not her <laughs> um let's see here they also had kind of pumpkin it was a jack-o-lantern also had a light in it super cool but it had the um brown kind of scraping on it and the brown coloring along with the orange so i really liked that that's definitely has like a sleepy hollow vibe on it i loved it so i picked that up um i also saw like these weird skull kind of plastic cup things but i didn't get any of those i just they were cool to look at. They kind of looked a little fortune tellery. It almost looked like the skull had a turban or a head wrap, but I couldn't really tell. Um, and then I saw this fuzzy pumpkin. Like this thing freaked me out, and I touched it, and it felt so disgusting. Oh, gross! I'm gonna have to like wash my hands after that. But um, so this fuzzy pumpkin. They had those cute little bears and like the costumes. I didn't get those because they don't really match my aesthetic, but they had the little bears in the costumes and one was like a mummy and then I think the other one was like a skeleton and another one was a ghost, I want to say. I'm not sure. I'll put in clips so you guys can see what it is. And then they had some like a pumpkin patch sign that was pretty cute. They had some other fall decorations like fall plates, leaf plates kind of a thing. And they had this other one that it was a pumpkin and it said like boo and eek on it. I had these cute little bats coming off of it, which was super, super cute. I did pick that one up. So I got that. And yeah, I think that was pretty much it. I walked around to find some other things. I really like this Sabres the most because I found so many witchy things there. I got a, um, like a chalice cup, a little like orange metallic -y looking color cup because I need a new cup for my altar for when you like do water with your spells. Um, so I got that. That was really pretty. That will actually look really pretty on the main altar because it's orange like all the Halloween stuff. Um, and they, I also picked up some black jeans because I always need new black jeans. Actually, I do need some of the ones I have. have a bunch of holes all over them. And I just needed some plain black jeans. So I got those. And not Halloween related. I got a couple blanks, blankets for my cats to go in their cat carriers. So that they will be more comfortable with their carriers. But yeah, it is my favorite savers. I find a lot of witchy stuff there. I found these like crystal what are they called the bells but it's made the glass is like crystal glass and then those are really pretty and yeah I just find all kinds of neat stuff there so I wanted to see what they had I feel like they had more Halloween stuff earlier on in the summer and that might be because everyone is shopping for Halloween decor right now but I still found a lot of great pumpkins that I'm very excited to use 
and I'm very excited. I'm probably going to put a lot of them up in that top area. Normally my pumpkins only come out for Halloween and it's the skulls and the spooky trees and stuff like that that stay out all year round. So, but yeah, that's my plan with them. That is going to be it for today. I am very thrilled. Yeah. I am very excited for the things that I found and it was fun looking for stuff again, although not a whole lot has changed from last week. So maybe next week they'll have some more stuff from us, but I am very excited for the spooky season to be coming up because literally guys, we are only a month away until everyone starts releasing their spooky stuff. So I'm super, super excited super 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 excited i don't know how many times i can say super in one sentence but i'm gonna do it because i am excited uh but yeah thank you so much for joining me today it has been a lot of fun i'm sorry that the last half of this has poor video quality i had to switch over to my phone and a lot of times the camera cuts out or not the camera but the microphone cuts out and on but we'll worry about that later. It is old. I know. It is old. So. And yeah, so <laughs> I ramble so much, guys. I am sorry. So thank you so much for joining me today. It was a lot of fun Halloween decor hunting with you guys. And I just hope that we find some more things. I hope that I find the spider wreath next week. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a really big thumbs up. And again, I appreciate you guys being here. If you're new to the community, hello, I'm Ancora. Welcome. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and the notification bell so that you see my new hunting videos every single Thursday. I usually upload them about noon local time. So we'll be a lookout for those. And Sundays I do art videos or fashion videos. So it'll be a lot of fun. And if you guys didn't notice, I got a new intro song. That song was done by my friend. Um, we did the poison apple jeans version and like a hardcore. So it matches a little bit more with my channel. If you haven't seen my poison apple jeans artwork yet, I will definitely recommend, or I definitely recommend checking out that video. I'll link it here so you can see it. It was some spooky artwork that I did. And I also sell that t-shirt on my Etsy shop. So again, thank you so much for joining. And I loved spending time with all of you ghouls and spooking ears. You guys are amazing and keep on spooking until next time. See ya. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not done yet. <laughs> so I decided I would show you guys the final haul. This is the cup that I was talking about for the altar, the Eek po Pumpkin, pumpkin. <laughs> and then I got this tombstone with a little bow tie on it that I looked, thought looked pretty nice. And then here are those jelly pumpkins. I'm glad that I purchased all six of them because two of them actually didn't light up. So knowing me, I probably would have bought the two broken ones but yeah and then here's the cups and then those cones for the spooky tree diy and then also the trees that i purchased for that diy so that will be fun if you guys want a video on that let me know down in the comments and then i also bought these candle holders here i thought it'd be fun to put the little jelly pumpkins on top of them or maybe like another eyeball and then that spooky pumpkin actually lights up and makes sounds so i'll show you that here until next time